time to do some unboxing for uh, Massive Darkness crossover pack with zombie side. I got the green horde one and also the black plague one in front of me. Uh, I think this one was uh, was eight dollars during the pledge, during the Massive Darkness pledge, and this one was uh, I think thirteen dollars for the during the green horde pledge. I could be wrong by a couple of dollars, but I knew it was pretty cheap. I knew it was less than ten dollars for the first one and less than fifteen for the second one. Um, if you're a Massive Darkness fan or a Zombie Side fan, it's good to have this two pack. It add a lot of uh, content to your current game. Well, to be fair, you don't need that much more content for Zombie Side, but for Massive Darkness, it gives you a lot of variety with new heroes and uh, monsters. Um, let's let's open up the the Black Peg one first, and uh, we'll see what, what you got in it. It's funny because uh, I know Massive Darkness and Black Peg are pretty popular, but I don't not that many people do. Um, an unboxing or unpacking for these uh for these crossover packs so it's kind of unfortunate because i think most people will uh would like to pick these up uh, if they have the chance to yeah cut this up real fast uh, i enjoy massive darkness and i also enjoy uh zombie side but uh both are different in some way and both are very similar in a lot of ways uh, I know a lot of people, you know, kind of doesn't like the the way that you know the game mechanic are kind of too similar, but you know if you if something works, something work right and sells million of copies each time, so the game is doing something right. Okay, so we got Anne. This is from I'll tell you which which set this is from. This is from the base game of Black Play. Bodrick also uh, from the base game of Black Play. Clovis, also from the base game. Uh, Samson, base game. Nelly. Oh, wait, give me one second. Uh, I think I got Nelly. They they got a, a correction card for Nelly in the Massive Darkness uh, Lightbringer pack. So this one is no good. I'm going to toss it out and replace it with the the new the, the one that come with Massive Darkness. Because uh, see how it's missing the yellow on that one? This one doesn't have the yellow dice. It's just a blank. So that's the correction. Great. And Silas also from the base game. So the first six heroes are from the base game. Uh, it gives you more option during the Massive Darkness play as uh, heroes to pick from. Uh, recommended class, Nightshade Ranger. Shadow Barbarian. Which is kind of weird. Why would she be a Barbarian? Hmm. A bone crusher. Yeah, the only bone crusher I know of in the in the in Massive Darkness is Little Ned. So this gives us another option of a bone crusher. Noble warrior. Battle wizard. And warrior priest. Those are from the base. Uh, the sixth survivor from the the Zombie Side Black Plague base game. And now you get the cards for them for Massive Darkness. Let's see what we ask. We got. Ariane. Oh wait, Ariane is also another card that I need to replace. You see how it's missing that yellow? This is from the Lightbringer pack. So we're going to take this one out and toss it away. So these are from the Wolfsburg um, expansion for Zombie Side. It's, uh, it was uh, available for retail. It was not a Kickstarter exclusive. And uh, most people who bought Black Plate end up buying the Wolfsburg uh, expansion anyway. So that's also great to have uh, these Survivor on it. So um, Ariane. Carl, a battle, another battle wizard. Morrigan, sorcerer, and Theo, a nightshade, uh, a nightshade ranger. So these are from the again these these four survivor are from the Wolfsburg expansion. It's a full box expansion. Here are the oh yeah these are the hero box uh, expansion for uh, Black Plague. Uh, they also release a hero box one. Which only uh, that come with five uh, five survivor, so these are from that one. I think those uh, that box right now currently retail for like nineteen dollars or twenty dollars. I could be wrong, but it was not that expensive. So this one you get uh, blooming uh, Arnold. I think his name is pronounced Arnold. Glinda, Julian, Sylvia. 
and Tucker. Again, these are from the Hero Box 1 for Zombie Side Black Plague. So these five Hero Box 1, these four are from the Wolfsburg, and these six are from the base game. So you get, just for this pack, you get additional six plus four is 10, 15 uh, heroes to play with your Master of Darkness, which is good because I think Master of Darkness come with like 16 heroes total right now. So adding another, it's pretty much double the, the option you have for Master of Darkness. Uh, let's take a look at the monster from Master of Darkness from, the, from Zombie's Eye. Uh, you know what? Actually, I like to have more monsters in Massive Darkness because our option for monsters is not that much. We got Goblin, Orcs, Dwarfs, Troglodyte, the Rattling, the the Reptiles. And I think that's it, right? Oh, and Troglodyte, the Barbarian. So this will give us some more option for, uh, for baddies. Okay, so we have the Zombie Walkers. Hmm. Enemies phase add one zombie walker. Ignore this power if you run out of zombie walker. Hmm, that'll be interesting. So you got one, two, two level one. Oh, this is zombie walker. Dead eye walker. This is also an expansion for um for dead eye walker. It was expansion for zombie side black plague also. Um. This is a weird situation because the Dead, Dead Eye Walker is supposed to be a retail, go out to retail, but for some reason it was pretty hard to find at retail. So it kind of became a Kickstarter exclusive. Uh, at one point these were going, these uh, the expansion for the Dead Eye Walker went for like $60, $70. I think the retail for them, it was $24.99. I could be wrong, but I, I think the retail was $24.99. But the Dead Eye Walker for a period of time was hard to come by. And it's funny, it's supposed to be released to retail too. Weird. Okay, range plus one sword if they haven't moved this activation. Huh, it's pretty nice. More zombie walkers. Zombie wolf. This is uh, from the, um, the Wolfsburg expansion. So you get these from the Wolfsburg expansion. So it's good to have more uh, zombie wolf. Zombie runner from the base game. It's funny that the abomination is a uh, is a uh, is a boss, and for the walker, is the fatty that's the boss. Uh, Dead eye walker. Dead eye walker, Wolf, zombie, runners. Dead eye. Walker walker. Oh shoot! I put this on the wrong spot. So dead eye go over here. Dead Eye Walker and regular walkers, wolves, runners, uh, walkers, uh, zombie wolves, runners. Oh, and a necromancer is an agent, which is pretty cool. So you got another agent in this pack. Uh, at the end of the enemy phase, spawn a guard on the level token of this style. Wow. Dude, that's, that could be uh, pretty brutal. But good thing is they only crop out with level 5. But still, that's pretty uh, pretty powerful if you ask me. Uh, also, a level 5 Dead Eye Walker. And a level 5 Zombie Walker. Uh, level 5 Wolves. And level 5 Runners. Okay, so the... Okay, so I'm, the M... A Bad Minotaur. A Bad Bad Minotaur. Whatever. Uh, this this monster was from the, the the expansion called let me take a look zombie bosses from Black Plague. Uh, there were three uh, three abomination in that that, that expansion. Um, it retail for thirty four ninety nine and it's still easy to this day easy to get. I think a lot of retailers still have a lot in stock of those. For some reason that didn't sell well, but um, but again it gives you a more option for your massive darkness uh, monster pool. So here's a abomination. A Blobination and Abomination Troll. So these three. 
Let's take a look at the abom Abominator. Jesus Christ, they're going to give me a hard time all night. Melee, plus one wound. Ignore walls to define its route and perform, uh, perform move action. So basically, he gets his power is pretty much the same as from the zombie side game. Because his zombie side game, he can break through walls and go through walls. So that'd be interesting. So uh, yeah, he's a, pretty, he's a pretty cool looking miniature. It'd be fun to have him in, on the Massive Darkness board. Abomination can re res resolve melee action at range 0 1. All wounds inflicted to the target heroes are also inflicted to all other heroes at range 0 1. Very, very dangerous guy to mess with in, the, in Massive Darkness. Because he can uh, hurt everybody uh, between 0 and 1. Hmm, that will be an uh, interesting one to play with. Uh, Abomination Troll. Perform two activation during the enemy phase. This he will move fast. He will get to your enemy uh, to uh, to our heroes really fast if he's far away. So don't underestimate two activation because if he's like in the same square as you, he can attack twice or he can move towards you like twice to get to you. So uh, this guy could be really dangerous. So so far I think him and the and the Blobin, uh, Blobination are the two most dangerous uh, bosses. So here's, hmm. so that's it. That's it for the, all the uh, our, uh, survive, uh, heroes and monsters for Massive Darkness. So again, for, for these, you need the base Black Plague base game for Zombie Side, uh, the Wolfsburg expansion, the Hero Box 1 expansion, uh, Dead Eye Walker expansion, and also the he Zombie Bosses expansion. Um, out of all those, all of them are pretty easy to find, except for Dead Eye Walker. I think Dead Eye Walker is still kind of tough to find. Uh, last time I saw him on Amazon, it was going like $40, $45. It could have gone down, maybe, who knows. But uh, I think all the others are pretty easy to come by. So if you want to add more stuff to your Massive Darkness, good pack. For $8 or whatever, how much, I remember, like 8 or $9 for this pack, it was amazing for uh, uh ad for Massive Darkness. I think... If this this pack benefit massive darkness more than it benefits zombie side, because for zombie side wise we get the heroes from uh, massive darkness to join us in a fight in zombie side. The problem with that though I see is um zombie side already have a lot of survivor. You know I I have uh, over a hundred survivor and I still haven't played use all, not more not even close to one quarter of them. So to add more survivor I don't know is is very important. It give you an option if people like to have option you know there's nothing wrong with option. For me, I think it's overabundant. Okay, I got characters that I like, characters my friend like, and my characters that um, my uh, my kids like. So uh, adding more survivor going to give more option, but it's kind of I don't know. Just to me, more survivor is not a uh, a big thing for me. So you got Ajax, easy to come by. He's from the. The uh the noble warrior versus the cockatrice or something like that. Azrael, Elias. These are easy to come by. These are uh, easy to come by. He's I think is hard. He's I think he's from one of the rare expansion. I think he's one with the Heliphant or the Cyclops. One of those two. Easy, same thing. Uh, Mi Miriam is from the Kickstarter exclusive from the uh, Lightbringer. Lightbringer pack. So she's a Kickstarter exclusive. Uh, my Mila, Elias, and Azriel. These were from expansion. Oh, right here, Little Ned. Little Ned is also from the the Lightbringer uh, expansion pack. This is from another uh, hard to come by uh, expansion. I think these expansion are from the, it's Kickstarter exclusive uh, expansion. So I'm gonna leave this on this this side. Owen, base game. Sarah, base game. Sybil, base game. S Sicarius. I think, I believe he's also expansion. Siegfried is base game. And Silence is base game. Valerie, was Valerie a base game? Shoot, I don't remember. Whatever. Victorian. Whisper. Actually, Silence is right here. Whisper is right here. Zoe and Valerie. Let me, take a look. Let me fix this up. Uh, Valerie's right over here. I think she's the harder one to come. 
Okay, so this, I think I organized it right. Okay, so these six are from the base game. Massive Darkness base game. Whisper, Siegfried, Sybil, Sarah, Owen, and Elias. These are from the base game. You buy the base game, these survivor, these, you get the miniature for, for, from, for these cards from there. These three are from the Kickstarter Lightbringer pack. These are Kickstarter exclusive of uh, add-on. Uh, you get uh, Secrets, Little Ned, and Miriam. Again, these are from the Kickstarter Lightbringer pack. These guys, these six, I think three and three are four from each different expansion. Oh, wait. Shoot, I should do more research. I think Bjorn is actually a, a base game. Who was not base game from this? Man, I feel like an idiot. Sorry, guys. I am I apologize sincerely. Well, whatever. So you know I give up. I give up. I know these were expansion. Well whatever. Here's a card for more survivors from uh from Zombie Side. Enjoy. Uh these guys. Okay, so I know for sure these six are hard to come by. Um uh, these are uh, Kickstarter exclusive expansion. I believe three was for one set. I think it was uh, I have I guys I own these. I just forget because I don't use these these hero much. I don't like digging through my uh, expansion box. So this is Victoria, Sylvian, Valerie, Astaroth. And Mora and Malius, Malius, yeah, Malius. Azria, Mila, Mila, I think it's Mila. Ajax, Ejorn, Miriam, Little Ned. Sicarius, Whisper, Siegfried, Sybil, Owen, Elias, Silence, Zoe, and Sarah. These are all the survivors you, you can get for your zombie side game from Massive Darkness. Okay, so uh, that's the unboxing for our Black Plague. Uh, Black Plague. Uh, zombie side um, massive darkness crossover pack uh, I'll do the unboxing for the green horde one next episode thank you for watching guys